Joining us now is CBS News Chief White House Correspondent Chip Reed with a preview. Nice to, Very good be to see with you this morning. In person. Well, I tell you, the White House is really closely guarding a lot of the specifics of this speech. They want the president to be able to have some surprises, but there is no mystery about one thing, and that is that the chief focus will be the economy and jobs. You'll hear the president talk about a whole host of economic things, including getting our fiscal house in order. While the president's spokesperson was short on specifics, it's clear what the focus of tonight's speech will be, creating jobs. He'll call for new spending on education, roads, bridges, and the environment. The president will call them investments, but Republicans say it's exactly the kind of government spending they were elected to cut. The presidents look for every opportunity to spend more money. While some Republicans are already attacking the speech, the White House is hoping Mr. Obama can win popular support for his plan. Republicans have been cool to the president's calls for investment. They say it's just more liberal spending. But what the White House hopes is that they can use business, who have been calling for this same investment in infrastructure and education, and use that as a wedge with Republicans. Other topics the president is expected to address include Republican-friendly deficit reduction and spending cuts, a renewed call for bipartisanship and drawing down troops in Afghanistan and Iraq. Among those who will be joining Mrs. Obama to watch the speech is the family of nine-year-old Christine. Tina Taylor Green, who was killed in the Tucson shooting, as well as Daniel Hernandez, the intern who helped save Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford's life, and Gifford's surgeon, Peter Ree. And there are going to be two big differences between this speech and the typical State of the Union speech, Erica. Number one, it's not just going to be a laundry list of policies. And second, it's going to have a very somber tone because of that uh, Tucson mood that's still going to pervade this room for quite some time. Hard to avoid that. Chip, Absolutely. thanks.